welcome to my video. I'm going to play through the uh, Marshall DSL-1, uh, the Bugera v V5 and the Hughes and Kettner ATS-60, which is a very old amp. You can only get it on the used market. And in the Hughes and Kettner is a Celestian Greenback. I had to buy uh, another speaker for the uh, Hughes and Kettner because I needed something to hook up to the Marshall and the Marshall only takes 16 ohms so for me a logical choice was the Celestian Greenback because that's the classic I know it's a modern classic but uh, so it's not the same as the speakers Hendrix and Led Zeppelin used but oh well So I bought the Marshall hoping it would give me uh, a nice clean channel with more bass and more EQ possibilities than the, uh, the Bugera. It has a three band EQ for uh, the high gain and the clean channel and I knew that when I dialed in the clean channel if I would go on and switch to the red channel, the ultra gain channel, it would be too dark. But I could live with that. But when I hooked it up to the green back, I almost cried because it was so harsh. And even if I turn down the treble to zero, turn up the bass and the mids, well, not fully up, then it's still too harsh. Let's go to the green channel. Ow. That's too harsh. Well, just turn the treble down. Uh, it's at three at the moment. Bass it is at full. Um, Middle is at 8. So, treble all the way down. Ow. It's too bright and I'm playing the neck pickup. And it, it isn't even my strat. Bridge. This is terrible. So I don't know if there's a mistake in the amp, if it's a production uh, error or something, but it doesn't sound good. Philip Knight warned me, he said it was thin and, uh, and uh, not nice. Um, but I've watched some videos where the, the Marshall sounded great. So I fell into the YouTube product review uh, trap. Um, and I found out while making this video that when you mic the cab uh, or if you only use a SM57 or something uh, then you're missing a lot of uh, things. You're missing a lot of sounds. It will not pick up the harshness I hear in the room. I've mic'd it up with a, a Behringer C1 and uh, AKG D40 and I can't make my recording as harsh as I hear it. It hurts my ears. So I'm going to send back the Marshall because the red channel is great. It could be a bit 
more classic for my taste but it's 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 beautiful but the clean channel is is ugly that's the bridge pickup And I've got treble at 7, mid at 6 and bass at 4. Quite a normal setting. Not like uh, bass at full, middle at uh, 4 and treble at 0. Because this sounds fine. Neck pickup is dark. Bridge pickup is trebly, but not ear piercingly bad. The Bugira into the green back sounds very good. It's better than the Celestian 8 uh, that I put into the Bugira, uh, which is a bit dark sound. Uh, not as dark as the original, the, the turbo sound speaker that was in the Bugira, but it's, it's a bit darker than the green back. So the green back gives it a little bit more sparkle and definition in the highs, which is nice. fun of it let's try some gain out of the Bugira how does it sound So now, single coil, Stratocaster.
So, I wanted to record this amp. And I was hoping the headphone out, which would be suited for recording, that's what I'm told, but that's too dark. The Bugera headphone out sounds better. Uh, there, uh, it's a pity all the amp builders make emulated outs because I want to record the, uh, the out of the amp. I want to use the distortion and the coloration of the amp and then put it to, through my own impulse re response. Not something they pulled out of their heads. Because, well, <laughs> the Bugera sounds okay, yeah, through a headphone. Um, but the Marshall doesn't sound good. And neither of them have switchable emulation. And even an alternative, the Bugira G5 has a, a switch for 2x12 and 4x12, but you can't turn it off. Why, amp builders? Why? Why? So this amp is a big no. And it's going back. The alternatives, as I said, the Bugira G5, which has 3-band EQ, but that's only for the high gain channel. The normal channel, the clean channel, only has a tone. Well, that's what I have on my V5. So, the only option would be the uh, Fender Bass Breaker, but that's too expensive right now. So, I'll probably build uh, a Mad Amp uh, kit, which is sold by uh, Das Musik Ding. Das Musik Ding. Uh, that's an affordable. They they have affordable amps, a five watt and a fifteen watt, maybe three watt. But um, I think I'll. I'm going to build the fifteen watt. Uh, it has an effects loop, it has a fat switch, it has everything I want. Then I only need an attenuator with an unemulated out. Attenuator builders do that. We want to record impulse responses. We don't want to record your frequency fiddling. We want choice. So then I have to buy an attenuator that can do, uh, can also double as a load box so can, I can record silently into my DAW and then put on an impulse response. Um, that will be in another video, but it will take a while. So thank you for watching. If you'd like, you can push some buttons down there and uh, maybe I'll see you next time. Bye.